Welcome everyone to another episode of T-Shirt Driving. Today we are removing the Street Challenge Kit from Rotora and going to the Super Challenge Kit. As you can see, behind the Project 6GR wheels, it is a perfect fit in the front. I can fit a pinky between the brake caliper and the wheel. Now, the front brakes, if you remember on the last video, are going to be a little bit thicker. 20% thicker pad, so the caliper is going to be a little bit thicker. We'll see how this space um, turns out. As we also know from previous videos, I need to run a 3mm spacer for the rear wheel to clear the rotor caliper. But uh, let's go ahead and take off these Elevate Titanium lug nuts and uh, get started. So one of the best things about having the stud conversion from Elevate is when you have nice brakes, whether they be the OEM Polestar Brembo brakes or your nice new painted Street Challenge from Rotora, or in my case now when we upgrade to the Super Challenge kit, when you remove the nuts, the wheel stays in place. It just doesn't fall or move and touch your caliper. So it makes it super easy for removing and installing. Um, super easy to install these. There's a previous video. I'll leave the link down below in the description if you want to find out and see what the benefits of this conversion kit. But anyways, let's continue forward. Always make sure when you have the vehicle elevated to have it on jack stands as well. I also leave the hydraulic jack there as just another supportive device. Um, wheels are chucked because you need the e-brake off. Now this is not going to be a super in-depth install. The reason for that is I've already made videos of that. So we're just going to kind of highlight the differences between the Super Challenge Kit versus your Street Challenge Kit. So just like I've posted in a previous video on installing the front or the rears, you're going to go ahead and remove this um, brake system from the caliper. Um, so the caliper is going to come off. You can keep the brake pads in there if you like. The stainless steel lines are going to come out. Um, you're going to remove your T-bolt here and the rotor will come off as well and then you're going to remove the caliper bracket. Um, you, some people like to remove the bracket in one go. I like to remove them separately. Um, makes it easier not to scratch anything in my opinion. So just like the magic of uh, film editing, this will be off. And just like that, the brake system is removed. Now, if you remember on my last video, I was saying to do the uh, brake lines last. Well, actually, if you have a little stopper to uh, cap it off, you could do them first. I did it first this time and cap them off. I'll get you a little zoom in on that. And then we're also going to go take a look at the differences on the front system since we didn't get a fully in-depth look on that. So right there you can see, got a nice little rubber cap up top. Stop the brake fluid from gushing out definitely helps so you can have this I mean you're gonna get a little bit of drippage when you're unbolting it so drip pan and spray all this off with uh, some brake clean all right people this is the difference between the street and the super challenge kit when it comes to the front again full floating semi floating we're gonna have 0.7 millimeters of expansion rate because this is a full floating system you're also gonna get some chatter this is gonna have 0.3 millimeters of difference of expansion rate. Black hard anodized, natural hard anodized. Now, check out these brackets. As you can see with the standard street version, they come straight out, relocates like the Brembo kit that would be on the Polestars in the same location. Um, whereas over here, we have a relocation kit of 12 and a half degrees. So you can see how not only is it over, but it's also twisted or cocked, reclocked. Um, because you got to keep in mind it's not just pulling it out it's rotating it too so they are compensating for that and over here I can see a visual difference between the super challenge and the street kit um, measuring these this is a 70 millimeter from wall to wall this is a 74 millimeter from wall to wall it's also going to mean that this is not going to be as wide as over here. We're going to have new stainless steel lines, which are provided in the kit as well. New hardware. This is all the old stuff that is going to stay together. So if we take a look over here, you've got your new hardware, your new stainless steel lines, new crush washers, everything you need to install your new kit. So I just want to remind us that the torque settings on your bracket are 70 foot pounds of torque. So make sure to get your torque wrench in here 
and go until it clicks after you set it. Seventy foot pounds of torque. All right, guys, we're just gonna make sure everything's nice and tight here. We still got our torques. This guy again, it doesn't have a torque setting, but you don't want to break it. You want it on there. Make sure your rotor is sitting properly, or you're not gonna get your caliper on. So I've already got the pads in here, and as you guys can see, they are the silver H2 pads, because there's still a few things I have to do around town from getting new tires, checking my alignment. Um, I've got until November, I believe it's 14th, I am doing the Global Time Attack event, an enthusiast class with this car. So uh, we've got some time. Again, I only do about 30% street driving, so these are gonna get very little rare, uh, wear. And then 70% uh, track driving, so we'll be swapping the pads out as well. So let's see how these look going on the relocation. And yes, <laughs> a little dirt mark. You can see how straight up that bleed valve is. 12 and a half degrees isn't gonna bring it all the way down, obviously. We still want good bleed here, but uh, you're still gonna get some benefits, whereas before it was cocked up a little bit. So we're gonna tighten that down with our new hardware. 40 foot pounds, you guys don't need to see that again. It's in a previous video. If you want a detailed install, go and check that out. Link is in the description below. And just like that, we have the awesome new kit installed. We've got the rotor, the caliper bracket, the caliper, as well as the brake line. I'm gonna go ahead and put it where it's supposed to be. It actually fought me a little bit with re-threading, so I went ahead and removed the wheel liner to get some better hand clearance on this side because it's got a sensor for your sway bar or axle link to see how much the car is pitching and rolling. So keep in mind, if you're struggling a little bit on getting your hands in there to re-thread it, Removing the wheel liner will allow you to get a little bit more access and if you need to remove the little plastic panel too That's protecting that sensor. It's a push pin pulls out and plastic moves out of the way But there you are. There's the front installed. It looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful We're gonna go ahead throw the rears on and uh, call it a day So on the rears now I have the OEM calipers already on here um, But the installation would be the same as you do with the rear setup where you have to cut the heat shield to make it so that way the rotor clears it. And then the other thing to keep in mind, normally on the Super Challenge kit, you are not getting the rear parking brake module. So you wouldn't have to uh, cut out any space behind the uh, actual axle because you don't have to worry about the parking brake. Um, but yeah, essentially it's the same process though. Unbolt these do your cutting there around the heat shield to make clearance um to remove it you have to remove the whole hub assembly and all that stuff pain so easier once the rotor's off to go ahead and make your cut and then uh go ahead and throw everything back on with your brake lines and everything so we're gonna skip the showing you process because you guys have already seen that and just uh see the afters and there we are the rears are on as well as you can see the project 6gr's with the three millimeter spacer, still perfect fit in the rear. The fronts fit perfect too. A little less space than a full pinky now, but it still fits perfectly. Um, again, as a reminder, the Super Challenge kit does not come with an e-brake. It is something that I specifically requested, as well as the top piston is a 28 millimeter now versus a 26 millimeter. So I enlarged that for my own custom results. Um, to get a little bit more rear brake bias on the street challenge kit, you get your 26, 26 normal. Um, we will see what happens with the super challenge when they start making these more in production. Um, but for right now, um, being the only one in the world for the Volvo P3 platform, um, I currently have a 28 millimeter up top and a 26 millimeter down below to increase that rear bias. So can't wait to try these bad boys out and see how they sound. Um, I mean, the rotor doesn't move right now, but we'll see once we actually apply some forces other than my just hand, hydraulic forces and all that stuff. So, uh, thank you. Subscribe, like, comment down below, and uh, stay tuned for what's to come.